Um, this is Baron again, and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm doing a website review for someone that I'm helping with their uh, web presence. Uh, so what I did is I went to their website and I used a couple of tools. I used Google Chrome, uh, the browser from Google Chrome, because they give you all kinds of free tools to uh, that help you. You can use them for just like a like a Droid phone or a smartphone or an iPhone. Um, they give you little SEO tools like the one right here. Um, I, I have like three or four different SEO and web ranking tools that I use. Um, and I have other tools as well that are, you know, for social uses and Facebook and all those other things that I use. But um, like here, um, I would click this little button and it'll look at this website for me. Um, and it'll say, you know, down here, here's some suggestions. Here's some things that could be fixed. You have, you know, link quantity is good. The title tag. Uh, might not be what it should be, needs to be, uh, you know, and it basically gives you red, yellow, and green, okay? Red needs to be fixed, yellow can be modified to be fixed, so forth and so forth, right? Um, but when I go to the, when I'm here on the website, the things I look for, I look for, <clears throat> well, good thing that that decided to mess up on me because I didn't know that that was there. I look for, uh, if the number can be highlighted or not and the reason being is that search engines like to see something matching with wherever they're listed on the internet right so obviously I can't actually highlight the, the number but I can highlight this one nope that's an image as well okay so let's just check out the contact us section alright so in contact us I can actually highlight that area right because when search engines look at a website they look for actual uh, words and links and text right they read texts uh, text letters numbers that stuff and links um, that's how they're designed so you want to be able to provide your business information um, in a text format when it's an image um, it only sees the name of the image Right, so you can actually name images on your website, and that, that helps out with optimization and some other factors. I don't want to get into too much detail on that. Um, then I want to go, so I go to their website. Obviously, on the front page, there I can't highlight their their number or their address. Um, then I look for descriptions down here. It's meta. Ta they're called meta tags, and that's what search engines look for as well. And it helps them find relevant content regarding what's on your website. So if you're a contractor, you want to say, you know, if you're a contractor, what city you're a contractor in, or what, what areas you service, things like that. And they would go down here where these little tiny links are. Um, like this one, resi uh, residential uh, roofing, commercial roofing, so it would see those things. But if you can also put in a city, uh, that gives you the search engine a chance to match you with a search that's based on looking for a service and a city at the same time, okay? Um, then we look at the title tag. The title tag is a little section up here that provides the information. As you can see, it says Tidewater uh, this, a subsidiary of E.D. White, da 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 Well, that's very, 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 that's a lot of words. Um, and search engines don't like to see a lot of words. But if you were to think about a title tag for a website, you could think of it like the headline for an article in, in a newspaper. As you're panning through, let's say you're a search engine, and you're panning through a... A, uh, a newspaper and you look at the headlines well the headlines are going to tell you okay this is the content that you can kind of expect in this article because that's what the headline is so your headline needs to be very brief um, maybe five to six words no more than I believe uh, eight words I have to look in my guidelines here but it should be no more than eight words and it should have specific words that you're looking to be found for regarding a search engine okay when you stuff too many words in it um, they're going to ignore most of those words anyways Right, and that's just a snapshot. Obviously, um, I don't see any connection to a social media section, so there's nowhere for me to connect with this company on another level. And you want to be able to have a website that is able to reach um, your client on whatever level they prefer to communicate at. So, if you have a Facebook, if you have a Twitter, a YouTube channel, a LinkedIn business profile, you want to provide that information for them. So, if they want to do research with you on another level you, you're able to build trust not just on your website but on a social network that you can make as well right um, so if they can interact with you on Facebook and they can look at you and look at your pictures your staff something funny that you guys posted 
work that you've done, um, it, it's, it creates a really personal connection for them because that's where they spend most of their time when they're on the internet. It's like 72% of people in America um, actually have a Facebook account, right? So you want to be able to not just reach them at the website level, but you also want to be able to reach them on another social network. Another thing that I look for is like a call to action, something that says, click here, call here, request your quote now, immediate call to action. Um, and it has to be very distinguishable and it has to really call the user or the visitor to your website to do something. Uh, visiting this website, I don't really see a call to action. I mean, I do see a call us toll free, um, but there's no arrow pointing to it. There's no, it's not bolded. Um, so it, this, the website doesn't necessarily, it doesn't tell me where to go or what to do. I just, I just, I'm here, so I'm visiting. Right, and the more call to actions you have, um, you can increase your conversion rates, and da 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 da. That's that's a little beyond this. Uh, I just wanted to highlight this section on the basic stuff that you can do in a website when people have landed on your website from somewhere else, or when they're just visiting your website. Okay, what I'll do is I'll go, I'll create another video, and I'll explain the most important part of the internet, which is going to be how you track and create conversions on your website, which allows you to increase your, your sales, um, increase the ratio of your visitors, converting to actual customers, all that, what, whatever you want to call that, that's what a conversion is. And I'll explain the tools on that in the next video. All right, thanks a lot.